Why is it so dark, Alex? We're in a spy movie. This isn't a spy movie. This is a, a hacker's office. That's how hackers are supposed to be, aren't That's they? That's only in, in spy movies, Alex. I'll tell you what, guys. Turn the lights on. We are here clearly because there have been so many hacks over the past few weeks. And big hacks, right? Vijay Malia, Barkhatat, Rahul Gandhi. And Ravish Kumar. Yeah. Right? These are the who's who of Twitter who've been hacked. Absolutely. So we thought, let's find out, is it that easy to actually hack someone? Is it, is it, you know, stupid things that we're doing along the way? Because you and I can be impacted by this as well. Yeah. And what can you do? Or what, you, what should you not do uh, in order to not get hacked? How not to end up like those four on Twitter. Absolutely. So I thought, you know, Alex, we've come down here to a hacker's office. It's nothing like those spy movies. Uh, well, there is code and there will be code throughout this, but we're going to essentially show you what not to do and what to do whilst you guys are clicking away in the Twitter space, on Facebook, on Google, basically every bit of your existence nowadays. Absolutely. And we're also going to take you through one of the easiest methods that hackers use uh, to hack into any one of your social media accounts or even your email ID. So Alex and I love technology, we love computers, but we are no hackers, right? That's something Alex and I are not, even on our Friday show, we're not hackers. So we got someone who understands this as much as any top hacker around the world does. Sahir Hidayatullah. Sahir is CEO of Smokescreen Technologies. Whilst he's not, you know, in his spare time, when he's actually not protecting banks and big corporates, well, he talks to us and tells us what journalists and what politicians are doing wrong on Twitter. Sahir, thanks so much for joining us on the show. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Which right. Sahir, of course, is his team. Of right course, here. Sahir's team's here as well. There's Rudresh and right. Swapnil. And they're obviously going to be, I think Rudresh is going to actually be the hacker for the day. We're not going to put him uh, in a mask for this one. This is Rudresh <laughs> and he's a white hacker. He's and he doesn't hacker. have a hoodie. He doesn't have a hoodie as well. And Swapnil is going to play victim. And we're going to show you how easy it is for Rudresh to hack Swapnil Absolutely. or any one of us for that matter. That's the first question, Sahir. Is it that easy? It is, Ayush. It's actually as simple as one, two and three. And we're actually going to try and show that to you. So what we're going to try and do is show you exactly how somebody would target you on Facebook or Twitter and how simple it is for them to set up the hack even if they don't have uh, you know, much information about you or even if they actually don't have that much technical skill. Right. So what we'll do is we'll try and do this live for you. We'll okay. do a little live hack. We'll set up um, the hacker system and then we'll show you what the victim sees as well. It's very interesting. And tell me something, Sire. Over the, the course of the last few months, I mean, we met a while ago, uh, have even you know corporates really uh, you know clamped down on on these sort of hackings because this is not only impacting personal accounts and especially when someone like Vijay Malia is getting hacked you're talking about you know organizations also uh, being at the risk of getting hacked absolutely we've had um, in the last few months some very high profile hacks on the corporate side as well yeah. you had all the credit cards which were being and debit recalled cards. and debit cards being recalled yeah. uh, you've had a couple of large bank hacks you've had some websites being defaced as well so it's definitely becoming more topical. And as we go online, as we you know, go digital, um, you've got 1.2 billion people who are getting online and yeah. they're not all aware of how this can happen. So you're absolutely right. It's becoming easier, it's becoming more topical. Interesting, let's, let's uh, start off with, just run us through this like dummies, all right? Because sure. Alex and I are trying to figure out what we're doing wrong on Twitter, on Facebook. Uh, you know, will our bosses be very angry with us? Okay. So. I mentioned, Ayush, that it's as simple as one, two, and three, and it really is. So I've loaded up a free software here. This is software that you know hackers or anybody can actually download. Right. And you can see it's actually menu-driven. So mm. there's, there's nothing which you're really programming here. It says one, two, three, what do you want to do? So Rudresh, maybe you could, uh, you could go to one for social engineering attacks. Social engineering is the hacker's term for basically conning you. So that's yeah. how we convince you to give us information. Very often you think hacks are very technical, yeah. but they're not. They just rely on the fact that there's no patch for human so they're stupidity. they're almost like mind games. So they're mind games. Essentially exactly. a hook for you to... That's get, right. That's exactly what, on. That's why you call it phishing because exactly. you're, you're basically going phishing for... Well, a fish. Interesting. <laughs> interesting, right? interesting. So what we'll do is we're going. We so we've chosen the menu option one, two, and now we're going to say three for what's called credential harvesting. Credentials is just a fancy term for your username and password, password. right? Right. And what we'll do here is um, let's 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 see what options we have. Maybe you could show us the templates. 
So what you're saying, Sarah, is that there are ready templates already for Absolutely. a hacker. Absolutely. Absolutely. So which site wow. would you like? We've got a menu for you here. So you I got Google, Java Facebook. required Google, Facebook, Twitter, Yahoo. Yeah. Wow. And so Yahoo seems very timely considering the hacks have just been uh, right. revealed, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. And hacks that took place in 2013, right? Over a billion, a billion accounts. accounts. Yeah. 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 Well, so, so what you're saying is if Rudresh actually hits Google, Facebook, should we start off with Twitter? Sure. Let's because it's relevant, yeah. right? I mean, yeah. these four accounts that were hacked by... Uh, you know, a hacker group out here were actually Twitter accounts. Sure. I don't know how they did it, right? Yeah. But the fact of the matter is that you're saying it's very possible that what Rudresh is doing right now, they just hit four on this and that's where it all began. Yeah, it could have. Probably you could set up for, for doing a Twitter hack. Right. So jump back in. Of course, this is the easiest way that you could do it. They're much more complicated. Oh, yeah. So that, that's actually a really good point, Alex, because most people think that hackers, you know, do something extremely technical. Hackers are lazy. We take the path of least resistance okay. through to your account, right? So whatever's the lowest hanging fruit, we'll yeah. take that. Yeah. Right? We don't right. want to work hard, right? right? So what Rudresh is just doing is he's just setting up the hack and he's going to basically set up a fake Twitter page. Okay. Right. And what we'll do is we'll send a phishing email, which looks, you know, just like it's come from Twitter right. to our Mark's account, to mm. our victim's account. Right. And uh, when we do that, R Rudresh, you could probably go over to the account. So this is something, you know, which, which is very interesting, right? Sire, so you're, you're going to be essentially phishing by conning someone using a weird layout of an image or something like that, fishing them in with their credentials. Exactly. And this is exactly what you would see. So if you were the victim and this and this is if I got mail, this is what it looks like. Yeah. Exactly. This is your this is your team. In there. Yeah. And we've actually we've actually made it look there's a little less realistic. There's just an so extra team. You, yeah. Yes, you're right. That's a good catch, actually. I didn't <laughs> notice that myself. So it looks like you've got a new private message. Why don't we have a look at what you got? Which is what happens on Twitter as well. When you get a direct message, you do get an email notification saying yeah. you got a new message. And it looks like this, doesn't it? Yeah. So it says you've received a new private message and you obviously want to know what it is. So, so you what are you going to do? You click clearly. Yeah. yeah. So when you click it, a few times you've come to this page, which is a lot page. like the pages we use to log into Twitter, yeah. but it's not. It's not. Well, it even says Twitter security check. Yeah, which is. And I would completely fall for it. I would fall for it. I would fall for it. In fact, I'd fall for it to the extent that I would even hit. The remember, remember me, me. <laughs> okay. tab as well. So know. maybe we can get Alex to put his username hey, and password in there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Rudresh, why don't you type in the username and password of our fictional victim? I feel bad for you, Swapna, eh, if you're getting hacked. Yeah. Well, it looks like we're doing... I like the name, though. Yeah, well, so he's logging into Twitter. And after a second, he's at Twitter. If you notice... The actual Twitter. You're at the real Twitter site now. So. As, as uh, one of the greatest things in a con is where the mark doesn't know that he's even been conned Absolutely. at all, right? Absolutely. So he thinks he's at Twitter, maybe he wonders about that direct message, but he forgets about it, goes back to work. Right. But Rudresh, maybe you could jump back and show us what we've got at the back end. So this is what the hacker is seeing. This right is now. exactly what he sees and he gets it in real time. He doesn't have there's, to wait. Yeah, so there's Harish Brahmaputra and the password there is password123, yeah. which, which you should never do. Which guys, and if you do see some of the pieces on Bloomberg Quinn, you know, it's very interesting that on leak source, password one two three was one of the most popular passwords used around the world. Apart from one two three four five six seven eight nine, <laughs> yeah. So there are people who aren't very innovative with their passwords, but yeah. clearly, he's got everything on his, on on the back end right here. But guys, it gets worse than this. If you think about it, and I'm sure you're you're guilty of this as well. Yeah. How many of you reuse your passwords? Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. You use the same password or if you think you're really smart, you change you know, a couple of letters or numbers. Yeah, but right. you know, the, the genesis of that problem is that not everyone's blessed with an, you know, an amazing memory, right? So yeah. you, you, you can't think you've got a Twitter account, you've got a Facebook account, Gmail account, Outlook yeah. uh, at office, uh, your ICICI or whatever, your bank account. And, you know, and, and whilst I know that you know, a lot of these service providers are really pushing for you to get uh, robust passwords really, but you know, it's really annoying for a customer and a user like Alex said to come into so many of these networks with different accounts because now you have one uppercase character needed, one special character yeah. needed. I mean, it completely so very, messes very with the head. So very there's hard. actually a simple solution to, to some of this stuff. There are actually uh, programs called password managers. Right. Okay. And what they do is you keep one really strong password and uh, for any of the sites or accounts that you use, it will generate a completely random password. Like right. I could show you my net banking password right now 
it's maybe 20 characters long, it's completely random, wow. I don't know it myself. Okay. Right. And software like that makes it more convenient for you to log into accounts, you don't have to remember things. Right. And it makes it exponentially more difficult because what Rudresh could do now is, suppose he'd fished your Twitter account, or yeah. sorry, your Gmail account. Yeah. Maybe Rudresh, you could come back and go, go show us what else you could do. So this is another issue. I mean, this was an issue I think with the Vijay Malia hack as well. Yeah. Because a lot of us, not only do we tend not to get innovative with passwords, but we mm -hmm. also tend to store all our password information in one email or one notepad. And you do it without even thinking about it. Absolutely. Right? What, because when you create a new account, the question that's asked is, what's your backup email ID? That's right. So you put, put that, your Twitter, yeah. Uh, what do you log on with? Exactly. So you put the same account yeah. for everything that Absolutely. you use. So if Absolutely. I get your Twitter, uh, sorry, your Gmail account, I've basically got God the now. keys to the kingdom. Right here, Rudresh has now already initiated a Facebook password reset. And right. because it comes to Gmail, if I've got the Gmail account, I can reset Facebook. And this is what we call cascading compromise. Absolutely. Right. I can go from one account to you know more and more and finally before you know it i've got your icloud photographs and you know i'm tracking your location on you know uh, yeah. find my friends okay no, it's interesting you know, and also alex these are four parts that we commit all the time day in week in week out all the time yeah that's right. what and, keeps and us this, in business and this, <laughs> and this this what sahil shown us is the easiest way that you can go it about is. something so and, if, and just if somebody like put said, their mind to it yeah. Yeah. you would you wouldn't even and maybe it, out, it right? also, like he said, right? There's no patch for human stupidity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're really not being smart and innovative, it's just like the real world, right? Yeah. If you're not street smart, well, you're going to get conned. Yeah. And you said that about Gmail. That's interesting because if he's hacked our emails, mm -hmm. not our office emails, our personal emails, he's essentially done it with the same software, right? Yeah. So he could. He, th this is the keys to the kingdom. Absolutely. Yeah. And 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 it's in interesting considering that a lot of banks now, very recently are talking about removing of two-factor authentication. Which is gone, right? For, for under 2,000 rupees. Under 2000 rupees. Yes. So, so effectively, the amount of digital transactions that are going to happen are going yeah. to rise exponentially. Yeah. And the fact that this is a concern, right? Yeah. Uh, considering that a lot of people don't... So really yesterday, for example, uh, uh, this week, the Paytm page was yeah. down, yeah. right? I think it's happened once or twice. And when the Paytm page was actually down, what if Sahir was sitting right out here and if I told him, you know, to run one of these campaigns and make a fake landing page and I enter my credentials there as well. So now since Paytm is being used so much, you could have hacked that as well. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could take any provider. For example, I know you guys use Uber. Yeah. So I could drop you an email saying, hey, your last Uber ride transaction and go through. Here's your Paytm login. Yeah. You'd probably fall victim to it. Right. Yeah. So Absolutely. that's how it yeah. gets done. If you're not thinking about it. So basically Absolutely. the idea is to think that there's always a possibility and be prepared. Absolutely. Right? So, I, yeah, mean, I, I, I keep thinking, it's, it's, it's like what doctors would say, right? You, no matter how hard you try to prevent a disease, yeah. when it has to happen, it's those hygiene steps that you, and Absolutely. also good luck. Absolutely. Yeah. So it comes to the same point. Yeah, we were actually uh, looking at the our, our, our email accounts right? yeah. last week. Yeah, and we, we were as well. We were looking at them too. <laughs> <laughs> so whatever you're doing, Sahir is watching, right? That's, that's the moral no, of the story. We found out that I was hacked only once, whereas... I, I was hacked at least six times. Uh, okay. With very weird domain names as well. But this was on leak source. So you can actually enter your email right. and check if you've actually been There's actually, I, I, I don't know, I could probably show you something quite neat as a tip for, for the viewers. Could you go to haveibeenpwned.com? There's a site which tracks uh, all sorts of Similar. leaks, right? Similar, yeah. yeah. And you can just put in your email address. That's what I put in. But I, yeah. now after speaking to Sahir, I'm just wary of putting in any, any <laughs> email, any password, anything. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and you can have I been born? You could just go here and check whether you know your account is one among these you know millions and Let's billions. Let's check of Alex accounts. over here. Okay. <laughs> K dot. K dot. Alexander A L E X A L. You missed an you A. You missed an A. M A T H E W. At gmail dot com. Fingers crossed, guys. Yeah. No. This is results day. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, no. Oh, one page site. LinkedIn. May, twi have. May 2016. This is recent. Yeah. I hope you reset your password. Yeah, no, I need to do that. I'm <laughs> going to do that immediately. You do so. Well, Alex is a little old-fashioned. Yeah, he doesn't <laughs> use the internet as much, or he just, you know, he, he no, no, sorts I, out I, his trail much. Yeah. Much so I, I do, I do have uh, different passwords, uh, but obviously I'm not. How, as much, how much does it help, uh, Sahir? If I was to, you know, clean my cookies folder, temporary internet files, if I was to go incognito all the time, does that help? 
well, it helps with making sure people don't know what sites you visit. <laughs> but beyond that, um, it doesn't really stop the hacker. It doesn't. Yeah, Cl cleaning the cookies might because we can steal cookies from your computer. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But usually, if I've already got enough access that I can steal cookies from your computer, I can turn your webcam on, switch on the audio. There's a lot worse that can be done at that point. Interesting. Should we go back to our Twitter and yeah. watch our victim getting hacked? So these are interesting things, right, Alex? Yeah. I mean, we go through these steps every day and we don't really care about it. Absolutely. Especially in Mumbai when everything is done in a hurry. Yeah. And, and these are things which aren't even the recesses of our minds. So, so let's, why don't we, we've got, uh, we've got an, a white hat. We've right got the there. best in the business. Uh, so why don't we take this opportunity to ask him what we should and should not do? What are the simple things that you can follow to yeah. prevent Sure. Uh, or at least to make it hard for somebody to hack you. Okay, so I'll break it up into two areas. The first is what you can do technically, and the second is what you can do with just basic awareness. Right. So technically, one would be use a password manager. That's mm -hmm. really important. Make sure your operating system is up to date and that your browser is patched. This okay. is really important. Enable the automatic updates uh, you know, in, in both the browser and the OS. That goes a long way to helping you. Mm -hmm. uh, that's as much as the technical stuff is. What you can do here is you need to look out whenever you receive an email which you're, you weren't expecting. If right. it's unsolicited, be wary about it. Look for little things like you know twitterindia.com that Alex picked up on. Yeah. And when you click on a link, if you can go to the link, check the site and you can see this firstly looks slightly dodgy. More importantly... Why does it look dodgy? Because I wouldn't pick that pick up on that? Uh, well, so what you can do is usually if, if it was, uh, you know, a secured site, it would be HTTPS. Okay. Right. So you would see, could you open the real Twitter in another tab? Do you see the difference? Yeah. You've got so a little lock HTTPS icon and if you switch back, you okay. won't have But tell that. me something, Sarah, you're telling me if you guys really did your research and homework, you couldn't get me a secured uh, landing page? You could, we you could, could do that. Yeah. yeah. But it, uh, here's the thing about getting hacked. You don't need to run faster than the bear. You need to run faster than the guy next to you. So as long as ah. you're taking slightly more steps, right. you're probably, <laughs> you know, you're probably, he's just going to move on from you and go to the next guy. Right. Unless you're Barkhadat. I'm faster than you are. Yeah, well, maybe you are, but clearly it's not only about the race because also I must tell you that Sahir has mentioned that if I gave him two weeks, he would hack into everything uh, that I do or every bit of my digital presence. And so that's actually a challenge that I'm looking forward to. And I <laughs> hope that there's no, uh, you know, follow up Facebook Live on that because I'm going to make sure please that I'm in his pictures, good books. Please post pictures well, of Ayush in a polka <laughs> dot shirt because that would be done, perfect. Done. We were yeah. going for video, but pictures <laughs> are right. <laughs> Interesting, man. I think, so these are essentially the do's and don'ts. Are there any more things that we can do? I'll tell you what, man. It's, it's not just Alex, you and I or Rudresh and Swapnit. It's our parents, it's, it's a population that's so vast and I think people tune in even outside the country perhaps would even want to know what are we doing wrong? Right. I think it's, it's probably just going to be something that people learn with time. If you look at it in the West, people have been victims of some of this sort of uh, cybercrime and fraud for so long that yeah. the awareness has built up. The quickest way to build awareness is you know, shows like you guys and then people losing money, unfortunately. Yeah. When that happens a few times, the word spreads and people start being more aware. Up until now in the country, we've never had to worry about this at such a scale. Yeah. But going forward over the next few years, this is going to be crucial. Okay. So we were actually discussing, you, you, you pointed out uh, that this was uh, suspicious, right? Without the HTTPS, yeah. it's not, it doesn't have the lock sign. Yeah. Yeah. It says Twitter security check. Yeah. So what, what are the other things that we can, we can look for? Well, another thing you could do is if you go back to the email and you hover over the link. Check the hyperlink. Yeah, you can look at where it's going to. Yeah. And ah, before if, you click. Before you click, if it looks dodgy, you can even type it in by hand because uh, we can spoof the link. So right. I can make it say, you know, over here that it's going to twitter.com, okay. but it's actually going to dodgysite.com. Right. So just manually type in where you think it's going. Okay. And th the simplest thing to do is if you're not certain, don't click, don't open the attachment, etc. What's the worst that can happen? If it's so crucial, you, you'll, you'll you find get it. another yeah. notification yeah. later. Yeah. Well, also another question here. What about the day and age of antiviruses? Are they completely out of business now? Well, they're not out of business. They still make a lot of money. Incidentally, because antivirus is a compliance requirement in corporates, right? right? But if you think that your antivirus is going to protect you against something like this, it's yeah. pretty obvious. We didn't really do anything very technical here, if you right. notice. Right. Your brief was do it in the easiest way possible. Absolutely. We've not done anything an antivirus would have caught for you. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, because it's it's you that's clicking, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, we exploited the human being, not the computer. Right, right. Uh, so, with that in mind, uh, what are the other things that I can do? For example, with respect to passwords, what are the uh, tools that I can possibly use? The softwares that I can use? So, don't reuse passwords for okay. sure. Uh, check whether you've already had a password compromised on sites like Have I Been Pwned? Yeah. Um, use the password manager as far as possible. Mm -hmm. Use two-factor authentication. This is really important. It's not foolproof, but yeah. it goes a long way towards being. So wherever you can enable two-step verification or, or uh, two-factor authentication, you, when you log in, you'll get you an know OTP. an OTP on your phone. And yeah. everyone's now used to that, and we've, mobile coverage has got better. So that's a really important thing for you to do as well. But okay. having said all of that, I don't want to be... Uh, the cynic in the conversation, none of it, it's all great, but none of it is foolproof. Because if you guys want to catch up with us, well, you can. They, they, they say the only secure computer is one that's turned off and under six feet of concrete. <laughs> so. Well, so anyone who's not tuned into this Facebook Live is perhaps very safe right now. Yeah, that's the only moral of the story. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> but then I guess that uh, if you have to get sick, you have to get sick at some point, right? And you've got to take all the steps necessary. All the precautions. In any case. Interesting. It's been an interesting chat. Sai, thanks so much for joining us. Rudresh, Swapnil, thanks so much, guys, for joining us as well. I hope uh, these guys actually recover from this hack. <laughs> and all of us do, and from all these hacks. Uh, Alex, you know, are you going to go back to office now and change your password? LinkedIn for sure, because I've been born. <laughs> Several yes, for times. sure. Yeah, Not I, several times, one just time. Just once? Yeah. Okay. And the one that you checked was back in 2013, so I think I'm good. Yeah, I saw a lot of other dodgy things, but I won't hey. bring them up on camera right now. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching. And, well, you know, there's only one cliché proverb that I can end this whole thing on, is be better safe than sorry. Absolutely. Take care. We'll see you next week.